Hello Libra and welcome to your February 6th through the 12th weekly reading. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much uh, for checking this out. I hope it resonates with you. Again, you can check your moon and rising signs if there's more information you're looking for or needing. Um, also, you can... Um, Um, yeah, check your moon and rising signs, um, and see what resonates more for you deeply. If you're returning here, thank you so much for your, um, your time, your, your support, your like, shares, and subscribes. I appreciate all of you guys. How very interesting. They're the lovers, the three of swords, and the ace. Nope. The page. Yep. Page of Swords. High Priestess in the bottom of the deck. Your subconscious energy. This is the energy of trusting your instincts, trusting your gut instincts, not trusting your knowledge, knowing you have the knowledge. You gain the wisdom. Use it. You don't have to look around for um, two other people like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You have it in you. You have the knowledge. You're holding the book. This is meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. Trust yourself. Trust yourself, Libra. You know. You know the answers. You don't have to go to outside sources to find it. So we have the lovers. We have three of swords and we have the page of swords. Lovers is a card, obviously, of love. Two people coming together. A sanctified union. Could be a marriage. Could be taking something to the next level. But there's hurt here. There's, there's, um, Kind of what I'm feeling, Libra, is there could be somebody in your life that you are looking toward moving into the future with. That maybe you're looking into having a union with or being a partner with or starting to date or whatever. And you have to heal from past hurt. Um, the Three of Swords to me is <clears throat> a card about... Learning lessons from pain. Three is a number of growth. So, you know, having growth, but it doesn't come easy. Having growth, but it came with pain. It came with heartache. It came with hurt. It came with somebody maybe doing you wrong or not, you know, being honest with you or using you or taking your money or, you know, just not a good partnership. But then you have the Page of Swords. And you have an exciting new beginning. A new time. New ideas coming in. Transformation. It's like you can transform the hurt. You can transform the, the swords that hurt you into a new, new ideas. Again, trust your instincts. And I like how this card says not to take action because the Page of Swords is new. It's, it's seeing something with new eyes, a new perception of something, of a situation. Being optimis optimistically cautious. It says, embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness. I just see this as, you want to start a relationship with somebody. You're scared. There's hurt in the past. If you approach it new, approach it as a new relationship, which it is. Approach it as a new 
it's not the same person that hurt you in the past. You have to not project that hurt on or that that situation on the new person. This is great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings. Being there for those in need. And as much as it could be you, um, this person that you're maybe wanting to get in a relationship maybe needs help with healing or needs time to heal. That's a possibility too. But approaching it in a new way. Having the transformation. Like a new relationship, like, like it's your first one. This is logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt. An exciting, intelligent challenge, bringing insights, information that you need might be challenging to receive. Information that you need might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. I love the the green, the the heart chakra color. I love how his heart is green. Opening that up. And I have to say, just because, you know, they're both wearing purple, which is fine. But I almost see too that. Um, in order to move forward in any relationship, you have to love yourself first. Putting the work in that you know you need to in order to heal. If it's your partner that needs healing, helping them heal. Putting in the work to help them heal if they need counseling. If they need therapy, if they need a shoulder or a friend, being there for them. Listening, being guided. Perfect timing. Now is a perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. What a beautiful card. If anyone's into music or plays music, I just that just struck me with, with all the music notes all around. This could be especially... Um, you know, uh, you need to hear this maybe too. Again, trust yourself, your gut instincts, your knowledge. Sometimes the best thing we can do is just be there. If you have a lover or a person that you care about that's going through a hard time, sometimes we can just be there and sit. We don't have to say anything. So this says now is not the time for action. You don't have to do anything. And it's exactly as it's supposed to be. But act on it. I can't help seeing these butterflies. They just remind me of little hearts all around them. 
a lot of love surrounding somebody, a lot of love surrounding you, a lot of love supporting you. Your ancestors, your guides, those that have gone before you watching and watching over you, wanting what's best for you. Again, three is the number of growth. Even though it can be hard, you know, hard lessons that we grow from. All right, guys. Good luck to you, Libra. What an interesting reading. Know that, again, there's new insight, new beginnings, new thoughts, new ideas coming in. Being very practical, really seeking the truth. Going after what you desire. It's imperfect timing. Not projecting an old relationship onto a new one. But having the ability to heal and move for forward. All right. You all take care. Have a beautiful week. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and each other. Until next time. Libra. Bye for now.